Vidang Shamantra Guru, Ajot Shikha Guru Gonta Chorene Yagikoria, Bondon Bancha Kalpa Trubiescha, Kripa Shinda Beba Chapodita Nampaba Neba Boishna Beba Namon Maha, Namon Vishnu Pada, Krishna Prishtaya Bhutale, Srimati Bhakti Vedanta Shami Dinamane, Namaste Shari Shadi Deve, Godavani Percharni, Hidvishisha Shinavari Pashtat the Day, Shatarine Shila Prabhupada Ki. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Ma Shorabye Jatra Shucho Bye to Te Bri Shalad Payam Maro di Umba Badram Te Kalanam Mai Shashtari Ma Shorabye Jatra Shucho Bye to Te Brishalad Payam Maro Dir Amba Badram Te Kalanamai Shashtari Please chant. Mothers, Ma, do not. Shorabhaya Asano Shorabi Atra In my kingdom Sucho Lamentation Bietu Let there be Te Unto you uh, Your <coughs> Brishalat By the Sudra Bhayam Cause of fear Ma do not rodihi cry amba mother cow bhadram o good te unto you kalanam of the envious mai while i am living shashtari the ruler or subduer translation and purport by shira prabhupada shira prabhupada ki O son of Sarabi, you need not lament no longer now. There is no need to fear this low class sudra. O mother cow, as long as I am living as the ruler and subduer of all envious men, there is no cause for you to cry. Everything will be good for you. Purport. <clears throat> Protection of the bulls and cows and all other animals can be possible only when there is a state ruled by an executive head like Maharaj Parikat. Maharaj Parikat addresses the cow as mother for he is cultured. Twice born, Katri King. Shurabi is the name of the cows which exist in the spiritual planets and are specially reared by Lord Krishna himself, Lord Sri Krishna himself. 
As men are made after the form and features of the Supreme Lord, so also the cows are made after the form and features of the Shurabi cows in the spiritual kingdom. In the material world, the human society gives all protection to the human being, but there is no law to protect the descendants of Surabi. Who can give all protection to men by supplying the miracle food, milk? But Maharaj Purikit and the Pandavas were fully conscious of the importance of the cow and bull, and they were prepared to punish the cow killer with all chastisement, including death. There has sometimes been agitation for the protection of the cow, but for want of pious executive heads and suitable laws, the cow and the bull are not given protection. Human society should recognize the importance of the cow and the bull, and thus give all protection to these important animals, following in the footsteps of Maharaj Parikit, for protecting the cows and Brahminical culture. The Lord, who is very kind to the cow and the Brahmins, go Brahman the Hitaya Cha, will be pleased with us and will bestow upon us real peace. Shira Prabhupada ki. Mukam Karadi Bacha Lampangam Langai taking him chat Kripa to Mahambande Shri Guram Dinatarinum. When I was a student in a college in Melbourne, Australia. 37, 38 years ago. We, our, our movement at that time, I wasn't fortunate to be a member of the movement at that time. However, I was fortunate to receive the association of Shankirtan devotees. Fortunately, Srila Prabhupada, he uh, visited the, the city where I was born. He visited several times, four or five times, Melbourne, because at that time, it was the only property which was owned by ISKCON in all of Australia, Aust Australasia, Australia and New Zealand. So we had a temple there. It used to be a, a Christian school with the brothers and a, like a little monastery there. So <clears throat> we had that property. And, and, and uh, all the devotees from Australasia came to visit when Prabhupada would, would come to Australia, Australia. He came every year for 70 74, 75, 76, 72, like many times, Australia. So, <clears throat> our, 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 we were very fortunate in that city. And Prabhupada actually said, Prabhupada, there's a, you can see video of Prabhupada installing, Go, installing Gornitai, Melbourne, 1974. They didn't have any of the proper ingredients, which we see now, the shruk and all of these things, yagya. And Prabhupada's in the deity room, he's, he's bathing Gochandra, and Nitai Goshai with, with yogurt, with a, a soup, soup ladle, a soup, you know, a soup ladle. He's bathing them, you know. So then Prabhupada sat on Byashashan and he spoke. He said, the people of Melbourne, I wasn't there in the temple, but I was in, the, in that city. I was a young boy, 11, 12 years old. He said, the people of Melbourne have become blessed because Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has appeared here. So today, here in Navadip Dham, you have assembled and you're, you are seeing one of those blessed people of Melbourne. Actually, I joined that temple and I served Gaur, 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 Gauranga Nitananda, that, those deities. They're, 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 before Panchatantva were installed, they were the largest Gaur Nitai in Iskon. Very, very magnanimous. Even His Holiness Tamal Krishna Goshami Maharaj once sat before them and said, the most, certainly the most merciful Gaur Nitai in Iskon said that. So we were able to worship those deities for many years, one decade, serve their lotus feet, fall down at their lotus feet, dance before their transcendental forms in the Mongol Arati, and come from Sankirtan and offer the, the, the collection of the Sankirtan at their lotus feet. And uh, we were blessed. And Prabhupada said the people of Melbourne have become blessed. <coughs> So anyway, on the street one day, I received the Srimad Bhagavatam first canto paperback. At that time, BBT was publishing the first canto, first seven chapters 
in a small paperback version of the Srimad Bhagavatam. And I received it on the street. I mean, such an extraordinary thing to receive on the street. Uh, Srimad Bhagavatam. The Branga Shanghitam, literary incarnation of God. Kalo Nasta Drisham Esha Puranako Adonuditaha which is specifically designed to enlighten the people of Kali Yuga, Srimad Bhagavatam. Kalo, Nasta Drisham, those whose vision, Nasta Drisham, has become, the Dristi has become Nashta, destroyed because of Kali Yuga. Puran Ako Adonuditaha. Puran Ako will get light from this Purana. Srimad Bhagavatam, first canto. Get light from this. Puran Ako is like the sun. Arka is one of the name of the sun. Arko. Puran Arko, it is like the sun. Adun Udita, Adun Ito, Adun Uditaho is just arisen. After the departure of Lord Krishna from the, the sages at Namisharanya, they inquired, where will the religious principles go now that Lord Krishna has departed the planet? And Sutta Goswami explains that this Idam Bhagavatam Puran, Idam Bhagavatam Puran, Puranam Branga Shanghitam, literary incarnation of God. <clears throat> so in that Bhagavatam, I read a few things, because Prabhupada says if you read one line, that's sufficient. So we read a few lines. <laughs> but actually what, what really struck me, there was one picture in that Bhagavatam. Of course our, our books are so special because they're so luxurious. Srila Prabhupada's books are so luxurious. And the dust cover. Nowadays you don't have dust covers on books. They don't make dust cover. Even in BBT our books, they don't have dust cover. It's just a colored hard cover. But in the previous times, the, 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 the book had a simple cover and had a dust cover, like a, like a, like a jacket. Prabhupada's original Bhagavatams have that. <clears throat> so uh, our books, so, so uh, our, our books, uh, the Bhagavatam, Chaitanya Charitamrita, have dust covers. Yeah, very beautiful, golden, uh, the colors of the Bhagavatam. <clears throat> so in the book, there's also beautiful pictures. There's so many beautiful, glossy pages. The pictures, you just look at the pictures. Yeah. For many years, we distributed books on the same streets of Melbourne, and, and we would show the people the pictures. Yeah. We wouldn't go into more detail. Just show the pictures, talk about the pictures, get them to take the book. So what impressed me about that, those pictures, that there was one picture there of, uh, we had a farm at that time, northern New South Wales. It's, it's like a very wonderful climate there. <clears throat> and uh, we have 400 acres of farm. And uh, what, there was one picture of one Australian young gentleman. <clears throat> he was very handsome. Actually, he looked like a demigod, you know, like strong. And, and he was wearing just dhoti and no shirt. And a shaven head and seeker, uh, and, 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 and he was there, and he was with, a, with the horses. There's a special type of horse. Maybe some of you from the West will know what is Clydesdale horse. In India, you don't see. It's a big, big horse, workhorse from UK. And they have white on their ankles, on their hoofs, white. Clydesdale. When I was a young boy, they used to bring the milk, a bottle of milk. Yeah, we're talking about milk today. Even in school, when I was in school, in primary school, the government, I think it was all of Australia, <coughs> every day we would get a pint of milk. Every day, a pint of milk in the school. <coughs> I don't think they do that now. And I remember that milk was not homogenized because the cream was on the top, like one inch of cream. And a, a little aluminium for you put your thumb through it, and we drink that milk, kids. And when I was young, the, 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 the milk would come in the bottles, bottles of milk. Now it's not bottles, it's in carton. And bottles of milk. <clears throat> on the horse, the, the horses would, on the street. That's how, that's how old I am. <laughs> horses, pulling the milk cart. Yeah, I saw that. <clears throat> so and the, those horses were there, and, the, and he had a plow. And he was plowing the, the, the field, and the seeker was blowing in the wind. Whoosh, there's trees, these Australian eucalyptus trees and the wind and the background, the Blue Mountains of New South Wales. That actually, it was, it was a, 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 a Mount Warning, uh, beautiful. And he's plowing the fields in a dhoti with a shirt, you know, no shirt. I saw that. That was enough for me. Actually, that convinced me to join the movement. I'm serious, that picture. I, and I looked around the city and I, already we were influenced by the you know, the new age and every, we were a student. 
art student. So when we saw that, we thought, this is it, this is it, this is life, human life is meant to be like that. <clears throat> so I joined the movement, but I never got a chance to live on the farm. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. had to go here and there collect funds and, and, and you know but of course that's also glorious also glorious <clears throat> but the first canto I, I often remember I recently I was in not recently before lockdown I was in Brindavan Radha Dhammada Mundir and uh, even in the evening so many people there every evening so many people there I remember the early years we were there Maha Nidhi Swami was, was living in, in Radha Dhammada for many years you could go and sit, talk with him for hours. No one would come. In the 80s, in Vrindavan, Radha Damada Temple, no one would come. And then I went in the evening, it was packed. So many people in Prabhupada's room. There's an arti. They do an arti in Prabhupada's room. So many evenings. Every evening. So, so. A movement. I mean, the, the temple today. It's an unstoppable movement. Unstoppable movement. It's just growing and growing and growing. The holy name. Who can resist? Chanting and spreading. Srinvanti, Ayanti, Grinanti, yet Sadhava. Who can resist? The, anyone who has some inclination. Srinvanti, Gayanti, Grinanti, yet Sadhava. Those who have some inclination. Sadhava. Somewhat inclined to God consciousness. Uh, Srinvanti, Gayanti, Grinanti. They will accept. Srinvanti, Gayanti, Grinanti. They will chant, they will hear, they will accept. Srinvanti, Gayanti, Grinanti. The message of Shema Bhagavatam. Because who would not? Any, any genuine seeker of the Supreme, who would not? Currently we're reading uh, Second Canto. It is so extraordinary. It is incomparable. After the first canto, which is just like an introduction, the second canto immediately dives into the original conversation in the universe. Between the first two beings, what, what, what scripture in the world can, can compare? to have the detailed conversation of the first two beings in the universe Brahma and then Narad and Govinda Chatur Shloki and Brahma instructs Narad Muni the very beginning of the universe all described in detail it's amazing it's amazing literally <coughs> but the pe Lokasha Ajanasha Lokasha Ajanasha people do not know Chakra uh, Vidvan Chakra Satvita Sanghita Vidvan, Vyas Muni, Vidvan, the learned Vyas Muni, Chakre Satvita Sanghita. He compiled Chakre. He wrote it, or he organized it to be written. Chakre Satvita Sanghita, which is meant for the, 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 the saintly, Satvita Sanghita, meant for Satagun. Lokasha Ajanasha. Lokasha Ajanasha, they do not know. Anato Pashanam Shakshat Bhakti Joga Madhoksha Jai. That just by serving Krishna as Bhagavatam facilitates, you just have to sit and hear. As, the, as Shakespearean, Shakespeare said, lend me your ears. Prabhupada many times quotes from Shakespeare. To lend me your ears, just that is enough. The Sravana Ponta, just by hearing. Srinvatam Svakata Krishna. Punna, Shrabona Kirtana, Ridyantashto, he abadrani, vidunati, saritsatam. He becomes your friend just by sitting and hearing about him. Ridyantashto, he's situated in a heart. He abhadrani, all of the inauspicious things, uh, vidunati. Just by hearing about him, all the inauspicious things will be removed from the heart. Just by hearing about him and thinking about him. Sravanam Vishnu, Sravanam Kirtanam Smaranam. Which is from a Bhagavatam. You hear, you discuss, you remember. Ridyantash tohi abadrani vidunati. And in this way, situated in the heart, he, his presence is manifest. He cleans the, vidu, the, the abadrani from the heart. So, hearing Srimad Bhagavatam, how easy it is. Now, this first canto here we're talking. So, I, my point was that this, the protection of the cows and Brahminical culture is almost on every page of first canto. And what's particularly important is that we, we need to remember that this is all written even before ISKCON began. So what we have in the first canto of Srimad Bhagavatam, we have the, 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 the blueprint manifesto of Prabhupada's mission. As he's seeing it completely from the visionary point of view. Because at this time he hasn't even gone to the West. He hasn't even begun to implement his vision. It is completely 
imparted and created and presented Prakash, manifest to humanity in the first canto, Shima Bhagavatam, before Prabhupada started ISKCON. So I, I particularly appreciate that Radha Damana, Mundir, Prabhupada's presence there, because anyone can go. Isn't, Prabhupada has no secretaries, no GBCs, no regional secretaries, no, no secret, nothing. And not even ISKCON. You can just go in there and fall at his lotus feet. He's just a Brajabasi. He's not even the founder Acharya of Iskon at that time. He's just a Brajabasi. But everything is there. Everything he sees. It's, it's just so amazing because it's this uh, pure visionary platform. How, we, how this world can be delivered. By sta and you read the purports. Prabhupada is so detailed explaining how in the industries there should be regular performance of Sankirtan and there should be a distribution of refreshments, prasadam, in the workplaces, in the colleges, the Bhagavatam should be studied. Prabhupada has no limit in his vision, in his perception of how Krishna consciousness can be spread in the world. So we constantly have to, <coughs> periodically have to come back to the first canto and see to what extent we're actually fulfilling the vision that Prabhupada uh, has presented all of humanity and then he carries from a Bhagavatam. Every moment is so glorious. The histories will, for, 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 for millenniums to come, will describe every detail of Prabhupada's appearance and the in, incomparable contribution he has made to humanity. He personally carried Srimad Bhagavatam to the US on the boat Jaladuta. The trunks. How many books he went with? We, I'm not sure what the number was, but one, one publication. How many? It's probably 500 or so. I don't know how many sets of the three trilogy. You can see them in Brindavan. You can see them in Juhu. And in Melbourne, the original that Prabhupada published. <coughs> so, how we get, how, so, so how we're coming here to uh, this Purikit. The king is talking now about cow protection. And the king is promising... Shurabi, he's promising. Go Mata. She's called Bumi, Bumi Devi. Yeah, Dharma and Bumi Devi. Dharma is the bull. Bumi Devi is the, the cow. He's promising her that as long as I am in the executive position as the governor, as the, as the ruler of the entire world at that time, then uh, you will be protected. In India now, I don't know the, the figures, you, you, you may know, as some of the states, it's, it's illegal cow killing in some states. Which states? Who can say? UP? Maharashtra? <laughs> Who knows? Gujarat. Gujarat. Only one? Yeah, so Gujarat. But actually all India, the biggest is most cow killing is in Bengal and Kerala. So <clears throat> there's work to be done. Yeah, there's work to be done. The government should, uh, in some places we have stopped. But this is what the government is meant for. Probably all of these sinful activities removed from the kingdom. This is the topic here. This is our mission. It's Andulan. It's Andulan. Actually, it's, 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 it's dangerous. The, the, we, we, we plan to take over the world. Yeah. It's Andulan. That's what you have to understand. I mean, you already understand. You're coming to so many young men here today. It's Andulan. It's a movement. Yeah. Take over the world. That's our objective. That the world rule, the rulers of the world are Krishna conscious. They have Tilak, Java, Hari They come to Mayapur. They'll all come in generations to come. We'll see the world leaders flying in, landing in the Krishna Nagar airport. The world leaders all coming in, taxiing in, and they're all lining up to worship Narasimha Dev. Narasimha chapter does it. World leaders. World leaders. And take Ganga Snan. That's our mission. That's our mission. That's, how, that's, that's the vision that Prabhupada has in the first canto of the Bhagavatam. The ruling executive head of the world will be a devotee of the Lord. And, and, and when is this going to happen? Ask Brajvilash Prabhu. When is this going to happen? Ask Brajvilash Prabhu. He'll declare it boldly. When is this going to happen? We can just be witnesses. It's so exciting. This temple is going to just, 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 just witness. It says, Adbut Mandir. Uh, Harinam Prakash, Maha, Nityananda Prabhu, Nityananda Goshai has personally said that the, uh, the, 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 the Odbud Mandir, Prakash, this Odbud Mandir, everyone, you, you, everyone agrees it is Odbud. 
Everyone agrees. It is astonishing. Apurva. It is unprecedented. It is unlike any other. Everyone agrees. Odbhut Mandir. And we are watching it appear. Like, you know, imagine that, that, that we're praying that Janinivas, Jaipataka Swami, and other exalted Prabhupada disciples can all be there when we bathe Sisi Radha Madhav, Ashtashaki, Panchatattva, Narasimha Bhagavan, and, and place them in their temple to your VP for their worship for 10,000 years. We all, we're praying that there are, uh, these great special souls can all be there <coughs> to witness that. And Srimad Bhagavatam is such an integral part of that movement. Uh, Srimad Bhagavatam. And that is our message. Uh, here, here, there, we're, 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 we're worshipping here and, and our, our, our mission, our, 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 our <coughs> teachings are here in Srimad Bhagavatam. The first canto, Srimad Bhagavatam. <laughs> and that's Prabhupada had that. He did, he, he, when Brahmananda Prabhu Brahmananda Prabhu gave for like four or five hundred dollars in New York, a lot of money, all of his money. They gave it to Prabhupada. And uh, <coughs> Prabhupada very gracefully accepted. And then he said, because Prabhupada was selling the books, Prabhupada had his, his very early 66, he was selling himself the Bhagavatam, the, the first canto. Brahmananda gave all of his money. And then he said to Prabhupada, can I, can I have the, 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 the books? Hmm? Prabhupada says, yes. He's, Brahmananda's thinking he's going to get a gift. <laughs> he just gave all of his money. Prabhupada gives the books and says, that's $27. <laughs> Prabhupada ki! When, when I heard that story, Brahmananda Prabhu in Vrindavan, he was crying. He was crying when he said that story. And Madhudvisa Prabhu here crying when he's showing us his watch that hadn't worked for 25 years that Prabhupada gave him, and he's wearing that watch, remembering Prabhupada. So the message is from El Bhagavatam. Now, yeah, so today's a very auspicious day. It's a Purnima, Barshak Mash Purnima. And so many exalted Vaishnavas appeared today. Shall we hear something about the Bhagavatas? Hear the Bhagavatam? Hear something about the Bhagavatas? In fact, our Srinivas Acharya in Bhakti Ratnakar, Sri Shachinandan, says that I wrote the books through Rupa and Sanatan. Ajai Goshai Jabe Brajya Koilabash Radha Krishna Nitta Lila Korila Prakash. Ichoi Goshai, these six Gosamis in Brindavan, Radha Krishna Nitto Lila Gorila Prakash. Everything we know about Radha Krishna Lila is from the Goshamis, Rupa Shanatan. And they're writing, Kobe Bhakti Rashastra Kole Likon, Chaitanya Kota Shuni, Kobe Chaitanya Chinton. Kaviraj Goswami describes the activities of Rupa Shanatan in Brindavan. Kobe Bhakti Rashastra Koraya Likon, they're sometimes writing the devotional scriptures. Kobe Chaitanya Chinta Kobe, sometimes thinking of uh, Chaitanya Kota, ch talking about Lord Chaitanya, uh, Kobe Chaitanya Chinton, and sometimes thinking about the mission of Chaitanya. And on the topic of Srinivasa Charja, Sri Gauranga Guna Anavarnana, no, what is it? Yeah, Sri Gauranga Guna Anavarnana Vido, Shraddha Samrad Vid, sham, Sri Gauranga Guna Anavarnana Vido, Shraddha Samridyan Vido. Srinivasa Charja, he's glorifying your six Goswami. Sri Gauranga Guna Anavarnana Vidho, the teachings and the regulations and the principles of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's movement, very strictly following. Shankapurvaka Nama Gana Nadibi Kalavashani Krito, utilizing their time in regularly chanting Shankapurvaka Nama Gan, singing Nadibi, dancing and falling down paying obeisances, Kalavashani Krito. In this way, they utilize their time. Radha Krishna Guna Smriter Moduri Anandena Shamohito. Being completely enchanted, Shamohito, by Radha Krishna Guna, the qualities of Radha and Krishna, remembering them. Radha Krishna Guna Smriter Moduri Anandena Shamohito. Completely enchanted in the bliss of the Moduri, the sweet remembrance of the qualities of Radha and Krishna. Goshami in Vrindavan. They're writing these scriptures. So Mahabhabhu said that through the Goshamis, I compiled the Bhakti Shastras, the literature, the Goshami Granto, which describes the Bhagavad Bhakti in all of its details. Mahabhabhu himself didn't speak so much. Kirtan Korete Prabhu Sharva Babu Dai. Kampa, Pada, Pulakash, Gadgada, Gadgada, Pralai, 
Krishna Krishna's Kamraj Goswami describes it. Kirtan Korite Prabhu Sharva Bhabu Doi. Kirtan Korite Prabhu Sharva Bhabu Doi. When he joined in the Kirtan, Mahaprabhu, Shava Bhabu Doi, all of the symptoms of ecstasy would manifest. Kampa, uh, Kampa, what is it? Pulakasru, God got up, rely. This quivering of the body, haripalation. The Pulakasru, the, the trembling. God got up, rolling on the ground. And pralai. Pralai means devastation. <laughs> what is devastation? The symptom of devastation, not sure. But Mahabrabhu experienced devastation in the Kirtan. And he was, all the time, Kirtaniya Sadahari, all the time he was in this state of devastation, quivering, <laughs> tears from the eyes, completely. Premabesh, pote, hobe, ocheton, falling unconscious. So he delegated the responsibility, the logic thinking, the Goshamis, everything, Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu, all the different sections, the Bibhags, the, the, the uh, Laharis, the divisions of the ocean, the waves, within that, all the different sections. So analytical. The science they're establishing. Nana Shastra, Bicharanaika Nipuno. Nana Shashta Bichara Naika. You can look at the bibliography of the Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu. Quote so many scriptures. Quoting from Vedic scriptures, Puranic scriptures, Sruti, Smriti, Upanishads, Rupa Goswami, Sanatana Goswami. Quoting, they knew all of the Nana Shashta Bichara Naika. Nipo, no. Very expert in all of the revealed scriptures. And from those revealed scriptures, they compiled all the evidences to establish Sat Dharma Shankstapako. Sat Dharma, the principles of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's message, which he gave very succinctly, which basically he demonstrated. Kirtaniya Sadahari. So Mahaprabhu in the Bhakti Ratnaka, he says that through the Goshamis I wrote the books and through Shinibhasha Acharya I distributed the books. I will distribute the books. Through Shinibhasha Acharya I will distribute the books. Even at that time he hadn't appeared. This is very interesting. These next generation preachers Narutam Thakur Mahashai Srinivas Acharya Shamananda Thakur these three great personalities actually they never met Chaitanya Mahababu but Chaitanya Mahababu spoke about them just see so it's not that necessarily all of the Goranga Roshongi gone Nita Shiddha Kori the eternal associates of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, the Brajabasis, Brajendra Nandana Jai Shachi Shuta Hoilo Shai. That Brajendra Nandan, the darling of the king of Braj, Shachi Shuta Hoilo Shai. He has become the, the child of Sachi Mata and Sachi Angon. He plays. Balarama Hoilo Nitai. Balarama Hoilo Nitai. So those Brajabasis, Krishna Balaram, they appeared in Nabadeep. Gormandal Bhumi and Godangir Shongi Gone Nita Shidha Korimone Takor Nortam Mahashai sings that all of Mahaprabhu's associates, they're all the Brajabasis. The cowherd boys, the gopis, the gopas, the cowherd men, the mothers. They're all the Brajabasis. They appear here in Navadip to associate Mahab with Mahaprabhu as he's performing the Shankirtan pastimes. And it's, it, however, it's not, it's not restricted to the time that Mahaprabhu was, was performing his pastimes. It's not restricted to that. Some of the eternal associates, they appeared after Mahaprabhu had left to perform the very important service of carrying on the Sankirtan movement after its initial implanting and appearance. Aramba, it began. After that, the next generation, all those greater souls leave. Then, then what happens? Then Narottam, Srinivasa Acharya and Shamananda Prabhu, they take over the mission and spread them. So in the same way, we can assume so many associates of Prabhupada, eternal associates, they appeared with him. We, 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 those of you who have been in this movement for some time, you will see they're such extraordinary people. And Prabhupada attracted such extraordinary people. Extraordinary people. That some of them, some of them, they, they came just for that service. Some of them come and gone. I often think, Shura Bhakti Charu, Nitto Lila Pravishta, Shura Bhakti Charu, Shami Maharaj. He, 
His whole life was just so, he, he joined, he was young, although later in Iskon. And such innocent boy. <laughs> He'd been to the West, but he was looking for a guru. He read the Bhakti Rasam Ritasindha, he read the first, the introduction, he, even of looking for years in India, Himalaya, everything. Not satisfied. He read the introduction to Bhakti Rasam Ritasindha. He went to Kolkata Temple, Garga, he said, I want Bhagavad Gita. Garga Muni sold him nectar of devotion. <laughs> He read the introduction. He said, I found my guru. I found my guru. And then he came to Mayapur, joined, saved up on a cloth. He was going to Allahabad. A Prabhupada was in Allahabad, Kumamela. And he was, Bhavananda Goshai was taking Bhakti Chura. He was like such, an, such a qualified young Bengali man. He educated, aristocratic family. He'd been in the West. Excellent, excellent English, well educated. They were taking him to show Prabhupada in Allahabad, Kumamela. And Bhakti Chiru summarizes, tells it. He, he says it's all about timing. It's all about timing. He said that we were walking to Prabhupada's tent. They opened the, they opened the curtain. Bhavananda walked in. I saw Prabhupada. I immediately fell down. Paid obeisance. He's outside. I got up. The tent was closed. <laughs> I didn't go in, he said. But anyway, he joined Prabhupada's entourage. So he came to, to, to translate Prabhupada's books into Bengali. I mean, he's Bengali Basha. Apnada Jodi Shunben. Bhakti Cheru Samaraj says Bangla. It is so sweet. And we read both, uh, Bengali and the English. And the way he's, a, he's not just a translator, he's like Prabhupada's son, who's writing exactly the, the mood of Prabhupada. Sometimes the sentences are in a completely different construction in, in Bengali than what is written in English. But Bhakti Cheru Samaraj, he knows what Prabhupada wants, he knows what he's saying. And the books are so powerful. So some, they came just for that. They came, they're special beings. They came just to do that service for Prabhupada. There's so many like that. So we can assume, just like Narottam and Srinivasa Charja and Shamananda, they appeared after they didn't meet Mahaprabhu, but they were his eternal associates. So we can assume that similarly Prabhupada, he may send his eternal intimate servitors even after he leaves this movement. They may be taking birth, those of you who are agree hustas, Prabhupada's eternal associates may be taking birth in your family. To carry on their service of helping. Actually, we need that. We need it. That's what we need. We, 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 we need, we require a movement expanding so much. So, Srinivasa Acharya, born not far from here, Jajigram, this area, Nodia, and <coughs> His father was at, his father, his name was Gangadhar Bhattacharya. He was in Katwa when Mahaprabhu was taking sannyas. It was so painful for him. He was a gold, gold, gold bhakta. Ganga, Gangadhar Bhattacharya. Gold bhakta. When he was there watching the sannyas function, performance, ceremony, of Shachinandan in Katwa. He was so much pained. He was simply crying, Ha Chaitanya, Ha Chaitanya, Ha Chaitanya. For that reason, all the devotees subsequently called him Chaitanya Das, the father of Sunivasa Charja. He was very renounced. They had, he was married, they had no child, and then they, he desired to have a son. So he went to Puri. Went to Puri to seek the blessings of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Upon arriving, Mahaprabhu, immediately seeing Chaitanya Das and his wife, he immediately blessed them and said, Yes, you will have a great Vaishnav. I bless you. They didn't even ask. You will give birth to a great Vaishnav. So his education, of course, is extraordinary, brilliant, brilliant in his young age. And then he went to Vrindavan. And there at that time, he, he, he didn't, he, he, he missed the association of Rupa and Shanat and they had departed. And similarly, when he went to Jagannath Puri, it was just prior to Mahaprabhu's departure. Just after Mahaprabhu's departure. So he, he missed seeing Mahaprabhu. <clears throat> and in Vrindavan, he was studying with Narottam Thakur Mahashai and Shamananda Pandit and Srinivas Acharya. And being, actually these titles that we hear, they were awarded on, on, on these devotees by Jiva Goswami. 
Jiva Goswami. Jiva Goswami is younger. He's the nephew of Rupa and Sanatan. So he remained after the elder Goswamis had all departed. Prabhupada describes Jiva Goswami as the greatest philosopher in history. Certainly the most, the, the, the most deepest philosopher in Nagodia. Sampradaya, the, the, the Sandarvas, for a complete study of Srimad Bhagavatam, the Sandarvas of, of Jiva Goswami should be studied. And we are studying in places, different places. And Bhagavat Mahabiddhalai, studying Sandarvas. Hmm? This is the deep study, philosophy, PhD level, Sandarvas of Jiva Goswami. Our, uh, <clears throat> so these titles were awarded. Were, were, were awarded because of the astute scholarship of Srinivas Das. Jiva Goswami awarded him the title Srinivas Acharya. And he awarded the title Thakur onto Narutam Thakur Mahashai. Srila Narutam Das Thakur Mahashai. And Shamananda, he gave the, the, the Duki Krishna Das, he changed his name to Shamananda. He's the Shikha Guru. And Srinivasa Charja took the mantra Dikha from Gopal Bhatta Goswami. <clears throat> so after learning the philosophy of the Goswamis, Jiva Goswami, personally teaching them, then they, all of the books were compiled. The, the, the Granta, the, the Goswami Granta, the books of Rupa and Shanatan, they collected into an ox, ox cart. And leaving Brindavan, the, the, Jiva, Jiva Goswami sent them to Bengal. Go to Hoyte Vaishnava Shiachin. Go to Hoyte. There's actually the Radha Krishna Mahaprabhu's worship, Sankirtan, is Goda. It's Gaudiya Vaishnav. Gaudiya. Gauda Desh. It's a special place. Nitanande Agya Dilo Jao. Gauda Desh. Prem Bhakti Koraho. On our goal, Prem Bhakti Koraho Prakashe. No other place. Mahaprabhu did not say that to any, about any other place. To Korma Brahman, he said, wherever you are. Jari Deko, Tari Koho, Kishnu Badesh, Amaraga Guru Hau, Tare Desh, Tare A Desh, Tare A Desh. This place you deliver. You stay here, you deliver this place. But to about Goda Desh, Nitta, uh, Mahabrabhu ordered Nitananda, Nitananda Agidilo, he ordered Nitananda, Jao, Goda Desh, don't come to Puri every year, holy man. Apart from you, who, do, who is there who can? Who can fulfill my mission in Godadesh? Godadesh and more Dui Shamas Rai Janani Janabi, a Dui Doyamai. I have my shelter in Godadesh. Ma Gonga and Sachi Mata, a Dui Doyamai. Mahaprabhu never gave up his attachment to Goda Bhaktagon and to Godadesh. He sent, don't come every year, holy man, you, you preach in Godadesh. So Jiva Goswami, he sent. The, 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 he sent them to Godadesh from Brindavan. Don't stay here. <laughs> you go to Godadesh. And nothing in between. They're going directly all the way Brindavan to Godadesh. Godadesh, Bengal, Oriya. Oriya, Goriya. Orissa and Bengal. These two places. Shamananda Pandit, Shanivasha Acharya, and East Bengal. Narottam Thakur Mahashaida, East Bengal, modern day Bangladesh. <clears throat> and uh, the books were stolen. Books were stolen by the Bihambir of Vishnupur. His astrologer said, these, these men, they're carrying a great wealth, a great treasure in the ox cart, a, a great treasure. <clears throat> I heard, he heard rumors there was a great treasure. So he inquired from his astrologer, such an expert astrologer. He said, yes, I've calculated many, many times. There's great treasures. So they, 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 his, he was a Bihambir. He had a private security team of Dakoids. In fact, he was one of them. They say, they say, private security team of, of Gundas. And so they attacked that, that ox cart and then they brought it to the palace. He opened it up. He saw the books. What? Books? He's chastising the astrologer. You know, you fool. No, no, no. Many times I'll calculate it. Many, many times. Same result. Such a treasure. Such a treasure. So, and of course, Narutam, Mahashai, and Srinivas, and Shamananda, they were, they were devastated. The books had been stolen. Shamananda and Narutam, they carried on. They went Orissa and East Bengal, and Srinivas, he remained there in Bihampur, and then eventually the, the attention of the king, such a great Vaishnava, 
Srinivasacharya was in invited to speak on Bhagavatam and it so enchanted the mind of Bihambira that he surrendered at his lotus feet, became his disciple, of course returned the books. And in this way the uh, mission of the Goshamis was fulfilled and they brought the books to Bengal and in this way <clears throat> they served the Lord. Any questions today? Yes, Prabhu. Is there a mic? It's also Srila Madhavendra Puri Prabhupada's Shubha Abhivav Titi Mahamahacha. Srila Madhavendra Puri Prabhupada. Madhavendra Puri Prabhu ki. Prabhupada told Govinda Dasi that the Western civilization would collapse eventually. Uh, cities would become b blood baths full of dogs. Wine, you know, and we also, there's many predictions like that. Are, are we, though, dependent on the existence of the present Western and, or society to, to be able to function? Like uh, people give so much money to the TOVP that we, the banking system, doesn't that have to be intact for us to be uh, oh, yeah. able to f <coughs> complete? Yeah, yeah, yes, it's, it's <coughs> a few things about that. Our mission is many, we have many fronts, fronts. You know, we're fighting on many fronts. <coughs> perhaps the front that we're, we're, it's not a perhaps, it's a fact that we've neglected the, the front of, of alternative self-sufficient lifestyle. Th that has been neglected. <clears throat> in 68, Prabhupada had bought the property of New Vrindavan. In 68, where well, there's only two, two city temples. There was New York, San Francisco, Montreal. And at that time, Prabhupada spent so much of our resources on the huge property of New Vrindavan. And, and he, at that time, 68. It's not that he said everybody in the city, everyone distributing books, everyone building the city temples. And No, oh, he wanted, from the very beginning, the devotees to be living there. <coughs> His Holiness Radhana Shami Maharaj was there. Cows, milk the cows and grow your own food, make your own food. This new Brindavan is a remote place. I don't know how remote it is now, but in, in those days it was rem remote. Prabhupada says, you, <coughs> you live here independently. During the lockdown so much we were encouraging devotees. This is the warning. It could ha People have just become, it's just like it never happened. Life here is all of these uh, Kamala Dala Jala Jivana Tala Mala At any moment it collapse At any moment It's so fragile We, we, we can't see it in so much illusion We think that everything is Dehapatra Kalatra Dishu Atma Shanyesh Vashatsa Peace So we're protected by our ATM card the, the devotees from Russia They can't even use their ATM cards And you think that that can just happen to Russians? We're so complacent that everything's fine, the groceries are there, you can just get, order it on Amazon, everything's, everything's fine, we're living happily, but <clears throat> in a day it could all stop. It did, it all stopped, in one day. It all stopped and we all couldn't go outside and everything stopped, everything stopped. I used to go to the Ganga, there was completely clear, you could see, 10, 15 feet into Ganga. There's no more industry, no, no one going. Everything stopped. It happened, it could happen again. Everything could just be taken away. You wake up, you, cl you log in, personal login, everything is black, your, your bank account. <laughs> and what can you do? You ring up, no answer. Go to the bank, there's no one there. <clears throat> that happens in India. I bought air tickets to go to the airport. There's no office. The airline doesn't exist. <laughs> it closes down. I mean, it could happen. We're, people are so, we're so complacent. We just can't see it. But it could happen any day. Wake up and it's all finished. It's all turned off. Main switch off. <clears throat> it could happen any time. Our, our style of life is so illusory, so artificial. So artificial. We've become so dependent on it individually, institutionally. Yes. So we have to, uh, we have to put energy. Uh, sometimes I, I, I share with devotees that many of you, you, it's difficult because you've grown up with all of these commodities of, of, of industrialized city life. We've grown up with that. We're habituated 
We're addicted. We can't live without these things. But our children, they haven't become addicted to it yet. And don't just put them through this slaughterhouse education. Just put them through the same program and they become the same compromised, addicted to these things. Give them an opportunity to practice manasram dharma. Create some brahmins, create some farmers. Who knows what it's going to be, what the world will be like in 10 or 20 years. It, we have to do this now. We need to bring properties, we have our families live there, you have your school, you grow your own food, you put a big wall around it. Or at least you have it patrolled by our people. If it's so much land, you have it patrolled. Because it, we may see in our lives that everything collapses and it's just anarchy and, and gangs rule. And at that time, our, our properties, you know, that's the only... Prabhupada said, at first they will laugh at us and then they will try to stop us and then they will beg to join us. So at that time, that was happening. If we had had properties, you know, you don't have to wear masks, you don't have to wear... It's all our own, everything is completely independent. From the, but we haven't done that yet. But we should do that. It's very important. And then we can... Otherwise, people... Got the, they'll all be coming to your VP, opening the world, the BBC, everyone will be here. <coughs> and then we'll say, yeah, well, this is our temple, our headquarters. Here's our philosophy. Uh, here's our philosophy. And then they read the first canon and they say, so where are the communities? Which are almost on every page of the first canto mentioned. Where are the communities? So they're just now coming. So I totally agree, Prabhu. This is, you know, we, we have to take, we have to move toward that as quickly as possible and take the lockdown as a warning that we have to become completely independent from the modern Prabhupada. One of that, we should depend upon cows and upon the land and protect the cows. And then Prabhupada said, we'll be happy, society will be blessed. Chaturvana Maya Shristam. This is Krishna's own pr pr uh, prescription for how to be happy on this planet. Hmm? And we have the information and we have the resources to actually do it. As important as opening the TOVP. Self-sufficient communities where mother cow is protected and we're reliant on, on the cow for our sustenance. Thank you. Thank you. Anything else today? Yesterday was a fast. Today I think we'll break and go for breakfast now.